So the centerpiece of this is this room in here. Follow me. This is kind of the fun part. Definition projection screen. It has over 4 million pixels. It has the ability to broadcast up to nine different TV shows. So picture nine screens going at once, or the whole thing could be one. But one of the things that's um, interesting about that is um, you can take an app on your cell phone. You can aim it at whatever screen you want to watch. So if CNN is in this corner, but they're broadcasting Fox News and you want to hear CNN, you, you tune in your cell phone, you plug in your headphones, and you can listen to whatever you want to privately on your headphones while everybody listens to Fox you can get in on CNN or whatever like that. So it's much easier to show when you can see it. Mm -hmm. But it is believed to be the largest high definition screen installed in any college campus anywhere. It measures 23 feet by 12 feet. It weighs as much as two Volkswagen Beetles and draws the energy of about four hair dryers. So it's pretty energy mm -hmm. efficient. It's pretty cool. And then you have Wii and Xbox and you can play games on it. And the thinking is that down the road students will reserve it to do film screenings or uh, if they want to demo games they've made, something like that. So it's pretty cool. IDS, Indiana Daily Student, you know, is our student-run newspaper. It publishes five days a week, Monday through Friday, and has a 24-7 news service. Um, I consider the IDS and all the student media, which is going to be located here to be kind of the heart and soul of the media school. So the Arbutus Yearbook, IDS, IUS TV, which is our television station, Inside Magazine, all those student-run media forms will be located right here. And in fact, they're going to be the first to move. They're coming over next week, and they're starting to pack up now. So this is Studio 7. It's the Ken and Audrey Beckley Studio. And you're welcome to go in and take a look if you like. And these two studios here, this is Studio 8, and those are radio studios. And those are built for podcasting, radio broadcasting. They are also connected to WFIU, which is our radio station on campus. And they're connected to WIUX, which is our student radio station over on 8th Street. So IU has, last year was voted, WIUX is the number one college radio station in the country. So if you're interested in radio, it's a good station to get involved with. And so all those places kind of connect. And audio, I've, I've been in a lot of conversations that suggest audio storytelling and radio and podcasting are sort of the up-and-coming formats that we should all get excited about. Part of the building was the original library stack, so this is where students would come and check out books, and that's why the ceilings are low. It feels a little bit more claustrophobic. So the back side of the building where we are was the library, the old library, the old stacks, and the front where there was higher ceilings. That was uh, part added onto the building later. So it's kind of the two buildings uh, meshed together in kind of a weird way. You notice a lot of ramps and little mini staircases because the disjunction of those two parts of the building. So let's go up in here. This is our gaming lab. And it'll be all installed with all the game technology and game software. So students who are in the game design major will work in here. This will be kind of their computer lab, their hub. Located in this area are computer faculty or the game design faculty. And also there's a 3D lab so students can experiment with 3D technology as well. So this is kind of an interesting, this is the newest part of the media school, the development of this BS in game design is kind of exciting for us. So, any questions? Anything else you'd like to see in particular? Okay, I'm going to take you back to where we started.